locking and adjusting the seat in position. Let's do this. It's a uh, Friday Vacation version. And as you can tell, we're doing Divergent Capitals. Because I'm... Oh, hit the wrong button. Ah, uh, panic, panic. What did I do? Ah, uh, fuck. We'll worry about that later. Ah, <laughs> uh, great start. Um, the reason I'm doing diverse capitals today is I want a relaxed day. Uh, just to put it mildly, it's Labor Day. Uh, yeah, a bunch of stuff was just on the screen. I'm not... <clears throat> Ruska? What is Ruska? I mean, is this... Uh... Moscow? These type of trees make me not think it is. I see a rooster. That doesn't help me, because roosters are a French thing. But hey, how's... I don't know if you guys have a three-day weekend. I think outside the U.S., you... Maybe do and don't. I don't know. Maybe there's some stuff on signage here. Gonna angle it to like here. Nope. Chastin. Emolt. I'm thinking this is probably Moscow. About 90% Moscow right now. Anyway. How you doing? I am... Neck deep into my 3D Awakening, as I've mentioned six million times, because I'm up. I, I just have problems spitting out sentences and being done with it. Um, have not hiked yet, just because the delivery of the furniture came at a very uh, inopportune time. Like, it's like smack dab in the middle of me actually being able to uh, be there in time and hike. It would have been like, hey, I have like two seconds. Yeah, I'm right now I'm I'm gonna stick with this place and see if I can't maybe start shifting a bit more westward. Cause I don't know if I'm completely sold at this being uh Moscow. Yeah, Belgrad. Beograd, I mean. Hmm. Man, there's Pernik, Kulata. Hmm. I, I'm, hmm. Like, Beograd is not Belgrade. Slovenia not have a capital? Well, yeah, it's Ljubljana. Ljubljana, I think. Uh, Beograd. There we go. So, yep, I think I might have gotten it. If not, then it wouldn't be surprising. My ability to find things at certain times is not always the best. But having a good time so far. Uh, very much developing into adult things again, like I mentioned before. Beograd. That, that's spelled B E L though. G R A D. So this has got to be Belgrade. It's just spelled a little differently in Cyrillic. <clears throat> Interesting. The E 80. Where's the E 80? Now I'm not seeing E 80. Am I like over. Did I. Hmm. Is there another capital near? Well, we won't find out. Fuck. Wow. See, is there an E80 there? Ugh, I did it again. Control W. <sighs> Man. I got no excuse for that one. I think I should have been able to get it. But maybe I just wasn't looking at the right things. Learn from my mistakes. If nothing else in these videos, I hope you do. This makes me feel... Oh, is that LV? Hmm. LV. I don't know. 
LV. I mean, there it's. I've noticed that the first capitals seem to be very uh, European based, but I mean, it's the guy who made the map, so so be it. LV, yeah, we've got Latvia. I'm thinking it's that man. I I my brain was just telling me over and over again, Lithuania, 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 Lithuania. Like my brain just was not. I think it's because I'm doing this a day early. My brain isn't, like, prepared for this. So it's like you slept in for an exam. You were all set for it to be at, like, 4 in the afternoon. And then you just find out that it was at 8 a.m. that morning. And you're just, oh, fuck. It's happened to me once when I was in college. Burger Studio looks fun. Where I had to go in... I thought it was at four, and then I get a email at noon saying like, "Hey, where were you for your um, astronomy class?" It was, and then I just went, "Fuck shit!" And the guy was nice enough to be like, "Yeah, it seems like a genuine mistake. I'll let you come in and take the test." And I took it, and I think I got a B. I don't remember exactly. This was almost ten years ago, and I hate sitting there and thinking about it. How long ago it is? Seems a lot of uh, tram cars around here. I kind of like that. Um, and I had another train of thought earlier, but it's gone now. What are you going to do? Other than keep trying to figure out if I can maybe find a street? Or maybe I'll sit here and maybe think of ranking capitals to see. Out of all the ones I've gone to so far, I mean, I've been very close to uh, Sofia. In the sense that I've been to Skopje. Um, yeah, I don't think we went anywhere else in Macedonia besides there. Mostly it was south. Nothing closer. Actually, no. Skopje is, Skopje is closer than uh, Calithea, which was here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think between Sofia and Riga, that is this place, right? Yes. I think I would probably want to come here first between the two. Can I get on a can I get on oh I I I'm trying to go down. No, there's a car going that way, but I guess I can't. Come on. What else we got here? Like I'm pretty sure I've got it nailed. I'm just kinda of like sightseeing now. I wanna take it in. You know, see what this place has to offer. Are these things like uh they're doing construction on, like, the guardrail thing, trying to keep them from falling over and crushing somebody below them. Oh, no. Meters for stone cutters from 8 to 2. And then we have meters for Cestinus. Cestinus probably means Cestus, you know, those C-E-S-T-U-S. I think they're, like... uh Almost like hand brass knuckles, kind of like, so maybe at seven at those times is when you can punch things. It was a really bad ad lib and nothing has come of it. Uh, we're in Europe again. Reserva, Reservorad Plaster. Making me think Denmark. Or that part of Europe, but not entirely sold yet. You just get me down the stupid road. It's a very narrow road, and I don't know what you do if you both two cars meet in opposite direct, like coming at each other in the middle of a narrow road like that. So you kind of just stare at each other until one person finally backs off. S E. Ow. S E what European country has S E Well Spain starts with an S, but that's it's Espana. Is it Slovenia? I don't think so. I don't think this is Ljubljana. Hmm. 
Yeah, we got that horns. Mm-hmm. This is Sweden. Why am I so? Again, excuse me for uh, my brain not not completely uh, working like it should. Sweden should have been a very obvious one, but again, doing this the day beforehand is just going to cause infuriation on your part. And all I can ask for is your patience, hopefully, and you didn't get too upset up to this point, being like, how can you not think of Sweden? You come to Sweden so many times in these videos. Why was it not the first thing that came to your mind? You saw the O's, the weird, he even said it was like potentially Denmark, Scandinavian country, and then the best, none of that mattered. Actually, me saying that sentence kind of just was more, is this a tennis court? But me kind of saying that was more of a pep talk to myself, being like, hey, all what I just brought up are very valid points. I think this is a soccer field. Is that AstroTurf, though? Like, artificial? That that seems like uh, kind of painful. This looks nice. What do we got? Hot dogs? Nice. Scandinavian hot dogs. I was told they're amazing. And the ones I had in Iceland were pretty good, too. This is chocolate milk. A food industry, show us your numbers. What is this? Olatli? Oatly. Oh, it's oat milk, I think. Now, oat milk is weird. I first had it when I was in Taiwan. And it's essentially, if you ever had, like, a bowl of oatmeal, but you just, like, let the dry oats soak in the bowl of milk, and then you took the oats out and then drank that, that's basically oat milk. It's kind of a farce that they call, you know, like almond milk, oat milk, stuff like that, that they call it that. Because it's just like white colored water with a little bit of oat flavor to it. It's like if you ever wanted to drink liquid oatmeal, you can. But again, with the AstroTurf thing, I don't know if I would ever want to play in one of those things. There was a baseball team in Montreal, the uh, Expos. They moved when I was in college, I think, or maybe before that. And the cool thing about being close to the Expos when they weren't that good is they would do anything and everything to get you to go to the stadium. And one of the things that we were allowed to do was uh, go into the field before the game started. And I got to walk around on that AstroTurf. And, you know, that wasn't the best uh, condition the road the field was in then. And, ah, uh, man, that's just basically a giant slab of concrete and nothing but, like, that green felt carpet on top. Okay, this makes me feel like we're in Australia. That also helps, too. So we are shifting, zooming. We are potentially here, here, maybe there. But I think we're in the southern hemisphere. Let's see if I can't see what well, ADT. That doesn't tell me. Like, I'm looking for a little bit of, like, if this is a Dutch flavor to the words here. This truck might help. Old horse. Yeah, we're in. Uh, Johan. No, print. Oh, shit. Okay. So the guy said that capitals have a different little icon. And I know the capital, let's start with Niro, uh, Kenya is Nairobi. So we see it's a little circle with a dot. We'll go, this is, just follow, this is me just following my logic to get to the correct one. Bern, different from Zurich. It's got the little black dot in the middle. This is a bit of a misnomer because there are a couple of capitals here. But I know Pretoria seems to be the capital. And I can very well see me being like, no, you idiot, it's Cape Town. But <clears throat> like I've heard Johannesburg, I mean, it was Bloemfontein. I think it was at 1.2. It also could be provincial capitals. What are we auctioning? Medical rooms. What kind of dystopian fucking future is this? All right, we got four. Let's see if I can further cement where I am, the M9, the M11, I'm not seeing M9, 
anywhere here. I'm going to zoom in a bit. I see M8, so we got to be close. M9, M11, okay. Water Kloof Ridge, and we have Sunnyside. So there's Water Kloof, there's Water Kloof Ridge. So like here, maybe? Where's Sunnyside? There's Sunnyside. Okay, so we're like... We turn left. So we're like coming this way. So I guess we're in Brooklyn. Maybe like over here. Can I, uh, wait, Florence Ribeiro Drive. Can I find it? I don't know. Queens Crest. Rock 80, 88. KFC Gift Act Acres. What the? All right, if I knew where I was and how to get there, I would want to know what the fuck that means. Is it like a just nothing but gift shop for K uh, KFC? Seems strange to me. Far be it for me to tell you how to spend your money. I know that also KFC is like a Thanksgiving tradition, I believe, in Korea. Or it actually might be Tokyo or both. I don't know yet. What do we got? What tool says about Nikandla? I don't know what that means. Cornerstone properties, huh? Oh, we we weren't that far off. Okay. We're oh, why didn't I know that we were in Bailey's Mucklin nuke? <laughs> well, I think this might have gave it away. Because it's actually not Istanbul. It would be Ankara if it was that. This is not Ankara. We have lots of A's. Frederick St Stegan. All right, am I going to see another URL for .se and then not remember where the hell I am? Hmm. Etel logistics. All right, to make this a bit more interesting, I might pick a road and then stick with it, but I'm not completely confident I am uh, sure where this is yet. I mean, it's Europe. Loxton? Hmm. Finland, huh? Okay. We are in good old Heslinikidiki. Hell's Nikki. Hell's a Nikki. Hell Sinky. Where I believe two of the winners of the International Just are actually from. Well, the country at least. Uh, I know next year the International is being held in uh, Stockholm, I believe. And I wouldn't, I would be lying if I said I have not considered actually using that as an excuse to go visit Scandinavia again, but maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Um, that shit's expensive. Like, I'm sure... Um, nice park. Uh, summer travel in Europe is not cheap. Um, compared to some other places. Like, if I came here in the winter, I believe that it would actually... I would enjoy it more. It would be cheaper because uh, I find winter way more interesting. We got the hippo too. Hippo teak. Hippoteki dis dis. Suomen. Well, you can take frustration or solace in the next minute and 30 as I horribly, oh Jesus, horribly butcher your... Uh, Words, because I can't speak any of it. We, oh, we got, okay, you spell, spell, you sell gelato, pieces of glass, and ice cream here. I mean, far be it for me to tell me what your hobbies are, but I usually don't eat ice cream holding a piece of glass. I mean, I haven't eaten ice cream off of glass. Maybe it's great. I feel like it's a... Misuse of glass and ice cream. 
I mean, what do you do with the ice with the with the painted glass when you're done with the ice cream? Do you just like make a little collection? You have like wind chimes at your house. How am I? So oh, we're like walking. I don't want to be walking. Get me on the road again. I want to see some. Uh, can I get on the road? Thank you. Oh, let's go to the Italian restaurant called Dennis. <laughs> I don't know. When I think Italian food, I don't think of a guy named G Dennis. That's like, hey, let's, uh, have you been to that new, uh, Japanese place? You know, sushi shop. It just opened up down the street. Oh, uh, no. What's it called? It's called Cliff's. No, I have not had Cliff's sushi. We got a nice kiosk here. Man, I just kind of took a stab at it and I got pretty close. Um, pretty good. This is me enjoying my relaxed holiday Friday. Friday fucking Monday. Um, so, hope you, if didn't have the day off, could have it vicariously through me. And just keep that in mind when you're about to have a national holiday in your country and we don't have it here in the U.S., Keep these days in mind. You know, it, it goes back and forth. Um, that's going to be it for our uh, Monday video. I'd like to thank you all for watching and taking your time out of your day to watch this. If you do have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, inquiries of any kind, or even suggestions, put them in the comments below. I will. Ugh. I will look at them and get back to you as soon as possible. If you have suggestions for other games you'd like to have me take a look at, let me know. Um, I'm going to actually take some time to maybe tinker around with a few other games here in the future. It'd just be like maybe one more video a week doing something else. But I've tried that before to uh, minimal success. But I think it's just sticking with it might actually help. But anyway, thank you all for watching. We'll see you back here on Wednesday. Goodbye.